Hey, what's up YouTube? This is part two to my Yonaka catback exhaust install video for the uh, fifth generation Prelude SH. And uh, what you're looking at right here is the clamp that I use to, uh, to uh, hold together the piece uh, where I cut it. I talked about that in my last video and uh, I already put the card down. I'm not gonna put it back up for the video, but just to show you there that this is the full catback Yonaka exhaust and you can see right there kind of in the very center of the screen if you're a doubter that is the SH uh, transmission uh, this is an SH model so just very quickly um, to uh, kind of recap the last video this uh, this is an exhaust that's made for the non SH only and uh, I uh, was looking for something to do and uh so check this out yeah so i was looking for something to do and i uh i contacted the company and they told me that no it did not fit the sh but i uh said well hey uh would you send me one and i'll uh i'll make it fit if you give me a little little discount and so the last video i sent uh the last video what i did the part one uh, which is I just made a couple days ago is I actually only installed the axle back which would be uh, Basically from that back back axle back out to the muffler. So it was the piece that replaced um, If you don't have room in your garage always cover your epic car So it just replaced that that's the stock muffler axle back and uh, you heard that video Maybe if you watched it, it sounded pretty decent um, There was no drone at all it was nice. You know, you could tell something was there. It wasn't real, real noticeable. It almost sounded stock. So, um, oh, by the way, I painted this can black. I, I mentioned I was going to do that last time. That's supposed to be silver, but I painted it black just for stealth. Thought it looked better. Uh, not too into the bling, but anyway, um, so yeah, I stuck that on there and it, it made it up perfect. Really the only issue with this install at all. Uh, I did it on ramps is just you got to get those five bolts. There's uh, two here and then there's three here There's two where the axle back mates up to the cat back and then there's three where the cat back mates up to the catalytic converter And uh, this car is 19 years old the bolt bolts even it being a Georgia car um, They were just rusted like real bad. So I had to heat them up and uh that get them red hot and they came off with some air um, But that's really the only thing other than that the axle back went on in five minutes I drove around for a few days and then today I had some time so I took everything off and uh, It took me maybe about an hour Start to finish and I'm gonna um, link the part. I use the clamp uh, I'm gonna link the clamp that I used uh, and uh, But basically um, so what you're doing is you just for the for the SH model, uh, the 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 uh, front piece of the exhaust is a little longer, so which would necess necessitate this piece being shorter. So what I had to do for the Onaka piece was I had to cut out a piece about three inches from the piece that mates to the cat. Okay, and you'll see there's a bend there. You want to do it right where it comes out of the cat. And if you get the Yonaka exhaust, you'll see what I'm talking about. I just showed you, and I'll go back under the car in a minute. But you want to get it close. There's a straight piece where it comes from the cat on the Yonaka piece. And this, you can see how it's straight here, and then it bends. So you want to cut from the straight piece. So I measured, and I cut exactly two and three-quarter inches off. If I were doing it again, I would cut three inches off. Um, it does fit perfectly. But I just noticed another quarter inch would have been fine. Next time I'm under there changing the oil, I might just pull it all apart and cut another quarter inch off. Um, so if I was doing it again, I'd do three inches. But as it is now, it's two and three quarters, which is what I measured. And again, it's fine. Everything lines up. I took some corners really hard on my test drive. Nothing is hitting at all in terms of, um, you know, the heat shields. There's absolutely, like, it's a perfect fit. Uh, again, three inches would be a, probably a, a, absolutely perfect. Two and three quarters, it works. Um, but yeah, so that's all you do. I did it in under an hour and uh, So once again, you can see I made the cut right there in the center of that clamp So I made the cut maybe just like three or four inches from the where it where the uh, flange mates up to the cat There's the cat. There's the flange and you can see the clamp right there and that clamp is like six six or seven bucks and it's great um, 
And uh, so I cut it there, cut it out, cut a straight piece, stuck it in there, and boom. I mean, it just went right in, super easy. I'm not gonna do any sound clips. I will start it up actually, but let me give you my impressions first. Well, you know what? I'll just start it up and talk. Um, okay, keys. Impressions are, I'll probably uh, take the, uh, I'll probably take it back apart and just go with the muffler. I'm gonna drive this for a month or so as it is and just uh, let the, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive it for a month and let, you know, it's, sometimes you, these cars need a little bit, you know, exhaust, a new exhaust needs some time to kind of mellow. So I'm gonna drive it, you know, a couple uh, hundred miles and see how it does. But um, it was a little loud for me. It wouldn't probably be loud for most people, but I'm, I'm, uh, I just got, I got a little more sensitive to noise and um, it does sound great. Like the quality of the sound is fantastic. Um, but the sound, it's, and it's not real super droney, like a cheap exhaust. It has a real quality sound. However, like I said, it's a bit loud. Like once you get to that 2,500 to 3,500 RPM range, it, um, it, do, it does get a little loud for my taste. Again, it's not nearly as loud as some exhausts I've heard. Um, and it has a really good tone, like it's nice and deep. It's not, it does not sound cheap at all. Um, but for me, again, I might uh, just, um, I'm a little uh, less into the loud, but it does sound good. I don't know, like I said, exhausts, you know, over a few hundred miles, the metal's gonna, you know, go through heat cycles and it's gonna flex, or uh, not flex, but uh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get itself a sound once it gets coated with all the soot and carbon and everything. So it's gonna sound different. So I'll probably, you know, I may keep it on there, but um, we'll, we'll just see. But I think most people probably would love this exhaust. Um, and uh, let's see, is there anything else? I guess the only other thing is, does it make the car a lot faster? And uh, the answer is probably not, probably not. Uh, at first it did seem faster, but then I thought, um, oh, that's probably just placebo because of the noise. So anyhow, get yourself a Sawzall with a metal blade, cut off about three inches. Make sure you do it like where I told you. Otherwise you're gonna, if you, if you interfere with those bends, you're in trouble. Yeah, there's like you're in trouble so make sure you cut it in one of the straight sections uh where, where i mentioned everything else will bolt right up it was in under an hour and uh get a tape measure get a sawzall measure three times cut once put it all back in you'll have some leftover things and oh the final thing i thought to say you know the cool thing about this is there's actually three options here option one is i can do the yanaka axle back with the stock resonator. Option two is I can do the whole Yanaka piece, which I have on there now. Option three, which, hey, I might try this in a few months if I get bored. I could try the Yanaka resonator with the stock muffler, axle back, and just see. I think probably like 30% of the sound comes from the muffler and probably like 70% comes from the uh, resonator, you know, the entire piece. So anyhow, that's all in that. I'm going to cover this car. There's a storm coming and, uh, Hope this was helpful. Thanks again, uh, Yunaka. They made a great product. Like I said, a little loud for my taste, but it may mellow out. But even even so, um, probably for most people, you probably would really love this. And there's there's seven or eight other videos I noticed on YouTube with fifth, fifth generation Preludes where they uh, have the you know the full setup. It's a non SH model where they have the full the full uh, exhaust, and they've got sound clips in the cabin, you know, outside drive by, all that stuff. So you can check that out if that would give you some more ideas of how it sounds. All right, thanks for watching.